It's Jen and you're watching Mascara and Metcons. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about a program that I've been on for exactly one year today and it's called Working Against Gravity. Working Against Gravity is a nutrition based program that is online. You answer this questionnaire so they can see how your life is, how busy you are, how much time you spend in the gym, if you don't spend any time in the gym, and then they personally uh, create a nutrition program for you. Now the base of the nutrition program is counting macros and if you're not familiar with that I'm not going to go into all about counting macros but it's basically tracking the amount of fat, protein, and carbs you eat on a daily basis and that's the foundation of working against gravity. I signed up uh, in March of last year and was put on the waiting list for a couple weeks and then was finally accepted and I was super nervous and I almost made an excuse not to do it because I had been making up excuses all the way until that time to not even send the initial email about uh, being on the program. I had been thinking about it since December when I heard about it on a podcast and I just told myself, okay, after Christmas, after the holidays, and then my birthday is in early February, so I thought, okay, after my birthday, because I want, you know, to party and eat and drink whatever I want during my birthday month, because I like to celebrate all month, and then I was thinking about it in March and we were going to North Carolina and uh, Tennessee for a little over a week. I knew I was gonna be eating some southern comfort food. So of course, after after we get back from the wedding, then I'll sign up for Working Against Gravity. Well, I woke up one morning towards the end of March and something just told me, like, you better do this now. You're wasting your time, you're making excuses, just do it. So I finally signed up and I was put on a wait list and I was super irritated because I, when I'm ready to do something and I finally decide that I'm ready to do it, like I'm ready to go. This is it. I'm ready. I want to sign up and I want you to send me my program the next day. Well, I was put on a wait list and so I thought, okay, that's fine. I'll just kind of see what happens between now and then. Well, towards the end of our trip in April when we were in Tennessee, I got the email that said, the wait is over, it's your turn. And I was super nervous and we were driving in the car. We we're actually driving from North Carolina to Tennessee and I got the email and I didn't even want to tell my husband because I thought he would like, I was second guessing myself and I was gonna back out and I knew if I told him, he would not pressure me, but push me to do it, you know, being supportive. And I didn't, I was trying to think of an excuse as why I couldn't do it or shouldn't do it. And I thought, you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to do it. What's it going to hurt? It's three months. You make a three month commitment when you sign up. So I figured it's three months. What What's going to hurt? If it sucks after three months or nothing happens, then I'll just quit and figure something else out. So I signed up and they and sent them all my information. Um, I'll insert some pictures so you can see. But when I started working in Scravity, I weighed 152 pounds. And for some reference, I'm 5'2", and always struggled with my weight. I've always kind of been that chubby friend, or at least in my mind, you know. I've always, you know, been the chubby friend. And the time that I signed up for WAG, I had been doing CrossFit for almost two years. And I had kind of gained and lost like between 10 and 15 pounds like I was getting out of CrossFit what I wanted like 50% like I wanted to get strong and I wanted to be in shape but it wasn't making me skinny and that's all I wanted when you submit the questionnaire it asks you why are you doing this my main goal for doing WAG was to look good in a bikini and then my other reasoning was I want to be healthy, build a better relationship with food, and increase my performance in the gym. So I knew I had done a lot of research on counting macros and what WAG was and what it did for people. And I did want to be better in the gym, but that wasn't my main focus. I wanted to lose fat and I wanted to be skinny. 
So I started the journey on April 25th of 2016. And I, for the purpose of this video, I went back and looked at some emails that I had sent my coach within the first couple weeks, you know, telling her like, the scale's not moving. I don't really know if I'm doing this right. Like, I hope I'm counting my food correctly. Um, I was so nervous that I was spending money because it's a pay, you pay for it, obviously, and that nothing was gonna happen. Well, within the first three weeks, I already had like pretty visible um, body changes. I didn't have a ton of weight change in the first three weeks, like maybe two or three pounds but my body alone, you could already tell was changing. Um, counting macros has a way of, well, for me at least, after the first couple weeks, because when I started, I was like, counting macros is the only thing that's gonna work for me because I need a diet that is gonna allow me to eat the crappy food that I eat and still lose weight, which is like the wrap that, um, if it fits your macros, gets because it's true, like if it fits your macros, you can eat it. Um, they don't restrict you on anything, tell you not to eat anything. That's why I turned to counting macros because I'm the type of girl that I like ice cream, I like chocolate, I was eating it almost every single night pre-WAG and I wanted a program where I could do that and that wasn't gonna make me feel guilty for doing that and that's the reason that I chose working against gravity was because in my head I thought, okay, I'm still gonna eat donuts and ice cream and cookies and pizza and all this stuff and I'm gonna lose weight. Well, in a way, yes, that is possible, but for me, since I was on a cut, wanting to lose body fat as my goal, those things did not fit my macros. So I quickly changed the way that I ate because the way that I wanted to eat did not fit my macros. I don't think I ate ice cream once my first six weeks because I was thinking like, if you're gonna do this, do it right and do it with a purpose and don't F it up because you're, again, paying money for this. Don't waste your money. And so the first about six weeks, I was really strict with myself. At the end of my 12 weeks, it was July 18th and I weighed 133 pounds. Uh, for some reason, I couldn't find the photos from that, so I'll pop in the photos from the week after, uh, the 26th. There was already a major change in my body, and I knew I didn't wanna stop. I kept telling my husband, like, I don't know how long I'm gonna do this. I don't know if I can do this forever. It was hard. I had never been like a food prepper. I like to cook, but I never like prepped my food in advance. I mean, the most thing I ever did was maybe make like two green smoothies and like drink one one day and drink one the next day, but I never like prepped food. And so it was hard for me. Uh, the first like two weeks, I stayed up really late trying to plan out my day for the next day, trying to package things, trying to weigh everything. It was really difficult. So when I first started working against gravity, I was going to the gym about three to four times a week and counting my macros. And as you can see from the photos, it helped tremendously <laughs> with my weight loss and my body changing, it, like so insane. Like there were weeks where I would look at my pictures and think, I don't see a difference at all. And it was so weird, like my coach had like a mental connection with me or something because the next email she would send me, she would send me a side by side of my first week and the current week. and and would tell me, Jen, look at, look at your body, it's so different. Like, you're, what you're doing, you're doing the right thing, like this is working for you, keep it up, super encouraging, I have the best coach. So, I uh, was going to the gym about three to four times a week, and then, and work, working full time, going to the gym three to four times a week was the only time I had, so I thought. As the weight fell off, things in the gym became, not that they became easier, but I was getting better. Box jumps were easier. Pull-ups were, I was able to connect, starting to connect pull-ups. Um, running was so much, so much easier. You don't think about 
that extra weight that you're carrying and how it's hindering you from your performance in the gym and not just in the gym but in life like the things that hold like your weight or your body composition because of the places that you carry fat the way that it hinders you in everyday life sometimes you don't even realize until you get yourself on a program where you're working out or eating differently and you start losing weight you don't realize how much has impacted your life until it starts to go away and that was a huge wake-up call for me when the box jumps like I like I can remember telling my uh, coach like I feel like a feather like I felt so light doing my box jumps and running and uh, pull-ups and toes to the bar it was easier to hang on the bar because I didn't have extra weight holding me down so then I started going to the gym about four to five times a week because things were getting or I was getting better I shouldn't say it was getting easier because when you do CrossFit in my head it never gets easier you just get better so I was getting better and I wanted to go to the gym I wanted to be there I liked the people I was around in November I left my job and decided to take time off until the end of the year and so I started going to the gym like five and six days a week. Let me talk to you a little bit about uh, what I think about my experience with working against gravity and if I would recommend it and all those types of things. Against gravity has changed my life. I could never ever thank Adi enough for creating this program and my coach Yvette is amazing oh my gosh I'm like tearing up um there aren't enough words to explain what this program has done for me physically mentally everything it's completely changed my relationship with food um it's changed my relationship with my body I treat my body so much better now and it's changed my relationship with people around me I'm a happier person um, I'm a more confident person there aren't enough words to describe what WAG has done for me and what it's done for my life it's amazing I 100% recommend it to everybody I have a few friends that have even tried it because of the they've witnessed my success with the program and so what I would want to tell you about the program is that I think everybody should try it, one, but on the other side of the coin is it's not for everybody. And I would have to tell you if you're interested in this program and you've never done anything like this before, it is hard, um, but don't let that stop you from doing it because as you'll see as the video progresses and as you know already, it's been a year since I've started and I'm still doing it and I've had amazing results and I'll pop in some more pictures here. But I urge you, if you're thinking about it or even if this is the first time you're hearing about it, research it and try it. It's amazing. It will change your life. And I like it. I don't really know what else to say. I mean, just... I mean the proof is in the pudding like look at my photos like I'm not here to like toot my own horn or be like hey look at me I just want to tell you about the program and show you that it works and that it's amazing and that you can do it because I never in a million years would ever think that I would look like this or feel this way as of this morning I weigh 116 pounds I still can't believe that it's crazy like I What's crazy to me is one that I did it because I never thought it was possible and the other thing is that I had Over 35 pounds more weight on me a year ago like that blows my mind the thing that's kind of strange for me is that even before like when I look at my picture from when I started and my picture now, when I see how I looked a year ago, like in my mind, I never like thought I looked like that. Like I knew I was overweight and that I had fat to lose, but I never, I didn't think I looked like that 
Like I look at those pictures now and I think I can't believe I looked like that. But at that moment in time, I didn't really think that I, that I looked like that. It's kind of weird, but I think if you've kind of been through what I've been through as far as health and fitness and weight loss, you'll kind of understand what I mean. Last week I posted on the Mascara and Met Pond's Instagram that I would be making this video and I uh, put out there, if you have any questions that you want to know about the program, uh, let me know and I'll answer them on, in the video. And so I did get a few questions. Um, a lot of people ask me, what do you eat? And if you follow me on Mascara Met Cons, I post what I eat pretty often. I eat whole real foods like 80 to 85% of the time. Um, lean meats, vegetables, fruits, grains, all that good stuff. I like to snack on yogurt and fruit and occasionally I'll have ice cream because I've found a way to make it fit now. How often do you work out? I talked about that a little bit, about five to six days a week with at least two days being rest days. Well, one day being like a for sure rest day, like I don't even go to the gym, and then another day being like an active rest day or a recovery day where I just do something super, super uh, moderate. How much more weight are you going to lose? Um, at this point, I am very comfortable with the amount of weight I lost. I don't really care to lose anymore. And I, there were times where I did get down as low as like 113, 114. Um, but I pretty much float around like 116, 117, and I'm totally fine with that. You have to remember that the weight of your body is just one tiny piece of data. Two people could stand next to each other weighing the same amount of weight and look completely different. You could have a guy that weighs 160 pounds that is full muscle and a guy that weighs 160 pounds that is like 80% body fat. I don't even know if that's possible, but you know what I mean. So I've broken up with that and I'm not worried about a number on the scale. Um, so I don't care if I lose any more weight. I'm not really trying to lose any more weight. Um, my goal has changed, which I think it often does when you start seeing your body change and what your body can do. So now my goal is to build lean mass. I want to be ripped, you know? Like before, I just wanted to be skinny and looked toned. I want to be toner. Girl, toners for printers, okay? Get muscle, and that's what I want. I want to get muscle, because I want to look strong and I wanna look like a badass. What do you do with your old clothes? So I pretty much don't own anything that I owned a year ago. I've had to replace pretty much all of my clothes. Most of the stuff I donated to Salvation Army and um, there's other things that I've given to family members. And then with my expensive things, cause unfortunately I have expensive taste, I have like my Lulu and um, like nicer work clothes that were purchased at like Nordstrom or Aritzia if you know that store. Um, those things I would sell or I am selling still currently selling on Poshmark and when I see family members who I haven't seen for a while or friends that I haven't seen for a while the first thing they ask me is do you eat and it's so annoying because I eat so much that it's like, yes, I eat more than I have ever eaten in the past 10 years, literally 10 years. Um, and I eat multiple times a day. So yes, if you're watching this and you've asked me before, do you eat? Yes, I eat. I eat a lot actually. Thank you for your concern. But yeah, basically that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, I 100% recommend working against gravity. It's, so cliche to say but it is a lifestyle with me i've met my goal i can't wait to buy a bathing suit for the summer now i have a new goal and that's to crush misfits and um look like i have muscle i want more i just want to see what my body's capable of and i've had such a great experience so far that i don't see why i would stop now so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There is more coming in the future. I know there's been a pretty large gap of when the last time there was a video posted on this channel. 
but more is coming. And if you are watching this and you don't follow me on Instagram, please give me a follow. It's at Mascara and Metcons, and I'll put it somewhere on the screen, and I'll link it below. I'll also link below Working Against Gravity and any other info that I think is pertinent to this video. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking with me if you've been here since the beginning and you're thinking, where the heck did she go? Where are the videos? They're coming. I'm back. I'm better than ever. And um, I hope you guys stick around to see where else this journey takes me. I'll talk to you soon.